Yo, what is up guys? So, I'm going to show you guys today how I make my live stream shout out. So, this is what my live stream shout out looks like. Um, I'm going to show you how I do that. So, the things you're going to need, you're going to need a PC or a laptop. You cannot do this on phone. You will need XSplit Broadcaster. You will need a good internet speed of, uh, the minimum is 5 megabytes upload speed I would suggest. Uh, I'll give you a speed tester below and I'll tell you your upload speed. You are also going to need a Google Chrome uh, and Tampa Monkey, which is an add on so you can get the live chat up on your stream. So I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff like get the sound, get the live count up, get the chat up, get your camera up, and add some text. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So, first things first, um, let's see. Let's say you want to get a live screen. As you can see, this is my live count. Um, this is what I use is live.net. I will leave the link in the description for livecount.net so you can find it. So what you do is copy the pack, copy the link, go over to your screen, add uh, web page URL, and then you would literally simply copy and paste the live count. So the live count is now up on screen, guys, isn't it? Yeah. So with this, what I would normally do is I'd go to settings. Uh, I would crop this down because I don't want everything on the screen that's on the screen. Uh, so I'd go over to layout. And my crop settings, you don't have to have the same. R20 on the top, 40 on the bottom, uh, and then I think 45 I was using yesterday. And 45. Uh, that's just uh, on the settings. So you'd press settings on live counts, and then you go to settings, and you can go to layout, which is one of the options, and then it crops this down for you. So you click settings. Um, once you click settings, you just go to layout, and then you can crop it. And there you go, guys. That's how you get your live count, your live count up. So I'm going to remove that off screen. Uh, let's see what's next. So let's say you want the chat. So uh, first, you're gonna you're gonna obviously have Chrome. You're gonna download Tampa Monkey and the chat add-on. And then next time you go to your live stream dashboard, which is this. So you'd go to channel, and then you'll go to video manager, and it will come up with all these this this down the side. You literally go to your live stream, and then you'll get this kind of bar. So you can just get your stream chat, which you click. Obviously, it's another it's another URL, so you just copy it. And then you do the same thing you did with the um, live count. So go to others, web page URL, and simply add it. And if you want to crop it, you can crop it. And that's all up to you. It's as, it's as simple as that, guys. So there you go. There's the chat up on screen. You can see me moving it about. You can do what you want with that. You can expand it. You can uh, make it whatever size you want. Oops, I've accidentally clicked the screen behind it. Uh, the live chat, here we go, look, expand, it's up to you what you want to do with it, how you want to use it. Okay, so that's how you get your chat up. Okay guys, so the next thing is, is if you want your sound up. So you'd go over to add, go over to media file, um, I think it is, or is it not? Yeah, media, obviously because it's music, isn't it? And then you go to sound, add your sounds. Uh, I'm not going to add one or else you're going to hear it. But what you're going to do is press settings and make sure the audio output is on stream only and then um, it will it'll, it'll give you a bar to how loud you want the sound so obviously turn it down if you're going to be using a mic and then turn your mic sound up um, be careful when you live stream and if you click on people's channels and they have a uh, if you keep click on people's channels and they have the copyrighted sound on their channels and their intros and whatnot you need to make sure this is muted because um, then it will play the sound but if, you, if you're not going to click on people's channels and, and show showcase their uh, intros and whatnot, it's all right to have this on. But what this means is, is let's say you click a video, you're, everyone's going to hear that video as well because it's capturing your desktop sound. Okay, so you just have to be careful with that. If you want uh, your camera on, you just go to webcams, and there you go. There's my webcam setting. So let's say add my add my webcam. Yo, what's up guys, I look at Mr. yesterday, I know, but there you go, that's how you add your webcam, you can place that wherever you want to place that. Let's see what else is there. 
text, as simple as adding text, you can pick the fonts, you can pick where you want it, um, write what you want, write people's names down if you want, it's up to you. Um, you can add a scroll, a fade, it's completely up to you guys. Um, if you want, I'm going to do another video on how I add my Twitch alerts, like, you know, how I've got my top donate and whatnot, that's a completely different thing, you have to go, you have to download Twitch, you have to download Twitch alerts, you have to create an output folder, you have to do a few other things. So guys, let's say you want to add an image, you just go over to add and an image, you click the image and you can add it, so if you've got a little logo or something, you can just add that to the screen. So let's say you want to live stream to YouTube, you simply go over to outputs, uh, and you literally add a new output, set a new output. And the good thing about this, guys, is once you've got an output and you press settings, you simply can test the bandwidth and it will tell you how much bitrate you can upload. I only have a 5 to 6 megabyte, uh, 6, 6 megabytes upload speed, so I'm, I only have 2010 bitrate because it, it tells me which bitrate I can use. So that's just the way it is, guys. Uh, faster upload speed, faster bitrate, better quality. Uh, it already has a settings for you that it's 1280 by 720 so people can watch it in better quality, 30 frames per second. You can change that by literally just clicking resolution or frame rate. So if you've got a good laptop, a good speed, you can go 60 frames per second. You can hit the resolution up to 720 by 1080 which will give people 1080p quality. It all depends on your laptop speed and how good your internet connection is. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching the video, leave a thumbs up if it helped you, drop a comment if you need any help and I'll get back to you. Peace out guys.